So today I'm going to show you how to use the Avada blog element to set up a blog page on your website. So obviously you have to use the Avada theme in order to use the Avada blog element. Uh, but assuming you have the Avada theme installed on your WordPress website, um, all you'll need to do is set up a page for your blog. So this is forward, oh, I'll just open this page here. <clears throat> so this is forward slash blog, right? This is our blog page. There's a slider image area here, which is this image. But then this section is the actual Avada blog element. And you can see that right here where it says blog. You can see that blog element. So if we click that, well, we can add the blog element simply by coming here, selecting, clicking save. It's pretty easy to add. Once you've added it in, then if you click the edit icon there, you can choose the layout of the whole blog page essentially and you have a lot of flexibility here so you can choose the actual layout whether you want it to be a grid you could have it show up as a timeline so I'll show you what that looks like here real quick so now you can see when each of these posts was posted along a timeline so you have flexibility on how you want that blog post to actually show up you can do large uh, but we'll just set it back to grid so that you can see how some of these other things change. On grid, you have the ability to change how many columns. So we have two columns here. We could change that to three or four. You could change the column spacing, so the amount of space in between these columns. Um, you can use equal heights. So if you want each of these, I'm just going to get rid of that page. Uh, see how these are different heights right here? If you want them all to be the same height, you can set them to the same height or equal heights, I guess we can just toggle, toggle that on so you can see. And the number of posts per page, so you could extend that up to like, say we want 20 blog posts to show up. You can even choose an offset. So if you don't want the first couple of posts to show up, you can offset it by three or four posts. Uh, and you can pull posts by category or tag. We're doing category right now, and you can see we've excluded some blog posts. We have some blog posts about different service areas that we cover. So those have been excluded, but you can have just a certain category of blog posts show up if you want. So say we wanted to just do SEO blog posts, we could set that here. And then the only blog posts that show up on this page are going to be in the SEO category, right? And then you can order by date, post title, number of comments, random, a lot of options there. And then the order can be ascending or descending. So date could be the oldest first or the newest first, or it could be the A to Z or Z to A, etc. And then you can choose what displays here as well. So you can choose if you want that thumbnail, which is this image right here. So you can hide that if you want, and it could just be this text block. Um, you can also hide the title. So this title right here, you can remove that if you want. You can hide the link to the post. So right now, if you click on this, it goes off to that blog post. That could technically be removed. You can align the content, so maybe we want it centered. And we just want to display an excerpt. That's typically what you're going to use. And then you can change the length. So say this was too short and we want it to be 70 characters. We can extend that. And then we can also uh, determine what shows up as far as this meta information here, this metadata. So right now it shows the author the data was published, the categories and the tags. But maybe we don't want the date to show and we don't want the tags to show. So we can turn all those on and off individually. And then we have it set to pagination right now. So essentially when somebody comes to the bottom, there's this option to go to the next page of posts. You can also have infinite scroll. You can have a load more button. Those two features are pretty cool. I'll show you what this load more button looks like here so you can see. Uh, and then you can change the colors and styling, padding, things like that. So I'm just gonna show you what this looks like real quick so you can see. So you can see we centered everything and everything's set to equal heights. But I'm not sure I like that so much because it leaves this big open space here. And you can see we removed the tags and the date. So that's how to set up and and optimize your your blog page using the Avada blog element 
Uh, so if there's anything on here about the Avada blog element that you had questions about, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comments section below. I'll be sure to get back to them there. And until next time, take care. Thank <laughs> you.